Okay, actually one thing I forgot to do is if you look at the picture here, you have these the interconnecting wires and stuff, so let's do that. And you can see that those are kind of not exactly straight and true. Uh, they're just kind of individual wires put on there, so we're going to use a path for that. And what we're going to do here, let's see which layer is it on. We'll just use, yeah, this. Okay. Cursor to selection. Okay. There's a couple of ways we could do this. Um, all right, let's start with the actual path. All right. And the reason it needs to be a path instead of a curve is because it will need to be 3D at some point. Okay. Paths are kind of hard sometimes, but sometimes they are actually really good tools for things like this. I think that's pretty good. We'll pull that back a little bit. And let's see, we'll do, let's do a, not an extrude. We're going to bevel this out a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. For that little wire that connects on the bottom. And of course there's one on the top also. Yep, that's pretty good. So let's just add in... I'm just going to grab that. Just add in a little bit of... Uh, funny shapes, I guess. Can't think of a good word. Just so it's not a perfect uh, straight line, because they are individual little wires that he soldered onto this thing. All right. But actually, we need to fix this. It's too close. It's too much in. It needs to be closer to the edge right there. Yeah. Okay, and you don't want them to look exactly the same, so after you change the first one, kind of do something a little different. Yeah, that might be a little too much.
Yeah, that looks good. Okay. We'll just do one more different one. this last one a little different too. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Of course the wires don't just touch the other wires. You have little solder points on here, so we'll do that. So what we need to do, we'll go here, the plane, Bring these up. There you go. And of course, he had like a. Well, anytime you solder wires together, if you actually ever do it, you have the little solder beads on here. So we'll just add in a UV sphere. Let's do five. Well, actually, let's make it a separate object. Actually, we'll do a cube. one level of subsurf to it. rid of these vertices, we don't need them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So set that smooth. Actually, Just screwing around now. I think that's fine.
just bevel this section. Mark sharp, add an edge split only from edge angle. There you go. That down over here. Just move these little solder balls around until they're in the right place. I think that's good. Alright. Okay, there you go. There are your little interconnecting wires. I think that looks pretty good. And before we move on to uh, the next step, let's take a look at this because I've actually got a just a quick camera set up on here. This isn't great, but we'll go. This is no materials, no no anything else. But I mean, for me, it looks pretty good. It's just a simple three-point lighting setup. Uh, when we get done, we'll do an actual proper lighting setup with a global illumination simulating. Uh, but it looks pretty good as it is right now.